finally, Jake's gone. I've got the store all to myself. Get rid of these stupid superhero comics, read quality books like Shade the Changing Girl, put my feet up. Maybe later I'll eat old Jake's snack. I occasionally eat lunch off of that. I thought you were gone. I am not gone until Sunday. You should know this. I will see you on Saturday. Put your shoes on. Babes, the party is Sunday. Don't come till Sunday. Wink, wink. Dead No More really takes off this week with Clone Conspiracy number one. It's still written by Dan Slott. This is pretty much more Amazing Spider-Man. If you're reading that book, you really need to be reading this book. Um, a lot of stuff is going to be very important. The, the clones are coming. Reborn is a comic about a bunch of kids who could walk on their own, but then decide to go back into the Bjorn and get carried around in the backpack, right? It is not about baby Bjorn. Oh, that's Reborn, which is also a great comic. Reborn is a new series from Mark Millar and Greg Capullo. Yes, that Greg Capullo from Batman fame. Do I have to say more? Probably not. It's a really cool story. It's a different take on the afterlife in a fantasy world. Let's just say when you die, it doesn't end like you think it's gonna end. It's reborn. The first issue has a lot of setup, but this book is gonna be something special. The art is incredible. Greg Capullo is one of the best in the biz. Also, on page two, there's a Bruce Wayne cameo. Okay. Vertigo brings us the Lost Boys. Yes, that Lost Boys. This is not the cover I would have chosen. <laughs> Why not? It's the cover Joey liked. It's from the movie. Yeah. If I say Lost Boys and show you this, you probably have a better idea of what we're talking about here. It's that Lost Boys. You know, Kiefer Sutherland and company. Mosaic is a brand new Marvel character. So if you're looking for something to jump on that's never been done before, you might want to try Mosaic number one. African-American hero, inhuman, so you get to see his origin and then how he'll interact with the rest of the Marvel Universe. If you're looking for something new and different, this book's for you. Marvel apparently has big plans for him. Yes. All right, spinning out of the pages of Deadpool Mercs for the Money is Solo, the one-man war on terror. Um, if you've read that book, this is more of that. It's not quite as silly as Deadpool, but it's still Jerry Dugan, the same writer. Um, you know what this is. If you were alive in the mid 90s, you know exactly what Great Lake Avengers are. If you're not, take an Avengers team and make it goofy. Then multiply that times three, and that times three, and three times more. And that's basically what Great Lake Avengers is. It does have Squirrel Girl in it, along with a bunch of either new characters or characters I've never heard of, like this female blob chick and someone called Mr. Immortal, but it's a funny superhero book with cool cartoony pencils. If that's your thing, check this out. All right, we got Suicide Squad number four. What is this doing in here? Let's see, there's a reason I was gonna mention it. What is... Hit him with the hind! All right, and other Hank-related things that are important, oh. we have Art Ops. Okay, I mean Electric Sublime. Now look, seriously, this book is not Art Ops. It's different. But if you liked Art Ops, you want to check out Electric Sublime. Or if you like the idea of art being the backdrop for a cool, extra normal book, you might want to check this out. This one, far trippier, less Mike already. That was so good. So, if you take a bunch of medieval soldiers, and then multiply that times 40,000, you get soldiers in space. That's Warhammer 40K, based on the popular tabletop game. It's also a good sci-fi space epic with your military action. Dude, space marines are awesome! Yeah. Especially when they're chaos space marines. We got Warlords of the Appalachia. So, this is kind of similar to like your Southern Bastards, your Men of War, you know, the somewhat shady ongoings of people that live in parts of America that are not as America-y. 
You mean it's not a sequel to Warlords of Mars? I've watched Star Wars movies. I've watched Star Wars cartoons. I've read Star Wars comics and Star Wars novels. What I've never done is color Star Wars. But now you can and color your own Star Wars. Looks like most of this is from the recent Marvel books, which is actually, God, really cool. Yeah. All right. It's a me, Jay, to oh, tell oh. you that you should check out the Super Mario Adventures book. This is straight up the comics that were originally printed in Nintendo Power. This stuff is awesome. It's also kind of terrible, but it's very nostalgic, very fun. This stuff is bonkers. If you consider yourself a big Superman fan or aren't that familiar with the character, then you probably want to check out Superman American Alien from Max Landis. It's kind of a reboot or modern spin on your Superman, so it's more hip and teenagery. And yeah. Yeah, it's what a, else am I missing? It's a series of one-shot snapshots. Yeah. Of, of sections of his life, all drawn drawn by amazing artists. Um, if you only read one modern Superman book that's like come out in the past five years, like this is what you want to read. It's great whether you like Superman, want to like Superman. Um, but they're, it, they're still connected, even though they're one shots. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they they are. But yeah. this is basically like a man. Superman for all seasons for millennials. We got DC Universe by Neil Gaiman. This is a collection of a lot of Neil Gaiman stuff. It's got his stuff from Secret Origins, his solo issue. It's got his Batman Black and White story. It's got the never before reprinted Green Lantern, Superman, Legend of the Green Flame. But more importantly, it's got Batman, Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader for about $12 more than the hardcover of Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader with a lot more Neil Gaiman goodness. Um, if you want to read just some great kind of standalone DC, Neil Gaiman will not disappoint you. So, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips have been known for the crime noir stuff for a while, but the fade out does crime noir that's actually noir in that it's totally like 1940s. So it's like old school Hollywood murder mystery, really good, big hit here at the shop, big hit everywhere. If you want a good mystery comic that doesn't have superheroes and stuff in it, can't get any better than the fade out. And don't look at the camera. Okay. <laughs> Check out Nerd I Could Review this week. Last week I reviewed um, something. Oh, Shaft. Not Shaft. <laughs> Luke Cage. Luke Cage. <laughs> and this week I'll do one of two comics that I really like. So check out Nerd I Could Review and at Nerd I Could Review on Twitter. Come back next week when it'll probably be just me alone crying. Thanks for watching. You didn't call it by its real name. It's not Luke Cage. It's Cage. No, uh, there's a Luke in the. Oh, not the comic. I did the show. Oh. Which is Luke Cage. So ha. Sorry, my sucker. bad. I thought you were talking about the book. Cage. Nope. Basically, the way I read that is Jake is so uncomfortable by man nipple, he ran 20 feet to get a different cover. Look, I'll tell now you what. you're out of breath, aren't you? If this book was called Magic Mike, yeah. I would be all for this. But it's not. It's called The Lost Boys. I'm coming here for vampires, not shirtless saxophoning. Shirtless saxophoning, the comic, would sell a lot. That's a good band name. Yeah. Oh! Oh! They totally agree with me. I saw that transform or that Power Rangers trailer, and I was just like, I liked it better when it was Chronicle. And you Google him, and the first thing it says <laughs> is that Max Landis isn't happy about the Power Rangers trailer. It appears that they made Chronicle, and they so did. I thought it, I thought it was uh, Breakfast Club up until the very end. Hillary asked me what I thought, and I was just like, the whole point is that they get powers when they're in their suits. Yeah. They're not supposed to spend over half the movie getting their powers and like punching sinks Dude, to then get in suits. The first half of that trailer is Breakfast Club. And then the second half is Chronicle. I don't think yeah. you saw Breakfast Club. No, it's a bunch of kids in detention. That's what the first half of the trailer was. I didn't think they were in detention. I've seen Breakfast I thought they were just at a shitty school. I think they were in detention. Okay. All right. All right, that's some good blooper action. Anywho.